Hello everyone. Welcome back to Medsurge Mentor. Today let's discuss about a complication that can occur from liver cirrhosis and that is hepatic encephalopathy. All right, let's begin. First of all, let's see what is hepatic encephalopathy. It is the deterioration of brain function caused by severe liver disease which is characterized by disturbance in conscious level, personality changes and fluctuating neurological levels. Major etiologies are liver failure, alcohol use, drugs like antidepressants, electrolyte imbalance, infection, kidney diseases, liver shunt and digestive tract bleeding. Types of Hepatic Encephalopathy There are mainly three types and they are Type A, B and C. First one is Type A and it occurs in acute liver failure. And Type B Hepatic Encephalopathy occurs in people who have shunt that connects between two veins inside the liver. Whereas Type C occurs in chronic liver disease and scarring. Pathophysiology of Hepatic Encephalopathy Due to etiological factors like liver damage, liver function is reduced which results in less toxin metabolism. At the same time, there is electrolyte dysregulation in the body. This leads to more ammonia formation. Due to this, increased amount of toxins cross the blood-brain barrier and will reach in the brain. It results in altered neurotransmission, brain edema, and altered brain metabolism. Finally, it causes brain function decline and is called hepatic encephalopathy. Prominent clinical features of hepatic encephalopathy are personality changes, poor concentration, loss of small hand movements, confusion, Poor judgment, anxiety, a musty or sweat breath odor, drowsiness or lethargy, seizure, fatigue, confused speech, forgetfulness, shaky hands, and slow movements. Diagnostic measures done to rule out hepatic encephalopathy are medical history, physical examination, blood test, MRI, CT scan, and electroencephalogram. Commonly seen complications of hepatic encephalopathy are hepatic coma, brain herniation, brain swelling, and organ failure. Managements done to treat hepatic encephalopathy are antibiotic therapy, Laxatives such as lactulose oral solution, avoidance of high protein diets such as poultry, red meat, and eggs, L ornithine and L aspartate, and liver transplantation. Important preventive measures of hepatic encephalopathy include avoid alcohol, which damages liver cells. Avoid medications that affect the nervous system such as sleeping pills and antidepressants. Eat a nutritious diet, exercise and maintain a healthy weight. Take the prescribed medications to treat liver disease. Undergo regular liver function test. Avoid high fat foods. Avoid close contact with people diagnosed with viral hepatitis. Get vaccinated against Hepatitis A and Hepatitis B. And avoid sharing contaminated needles. Nursing diagnosis for patients with Hepatic Encephalopathy are Altered mental status, confusion related to inability of liver to detoxify toxins, imbalanced nutrition, 
less than body requirement related to anorexia excess fluid volume related to compromised regulatory mechanisms risk for impaired skin integrity related to edema formation ineffective breathing pattern related to accumulation of secretions disturbed body image related to edema formation and deficient knowledge regarding disease condition nursing cares for patient with hepatic encephalopathy are ss abdominal girth blood pressure central venous pressure intake output weight and ecg observe for signs and symptoms of behavioral change and mentation maintain bed rest and assist with self care activities eliminate or restrict protein in diet assist with procedures like dialysis administer diuretics positive inotropic drugs and arterial vasodilators restrict sodium and fluid as indicated reorient to time place and person as needed evaluate sleep and rest schedule and discuss situation and encourage verbalization of fears and concerns so far we have discussed regarding hepatic encephalopathy it is a decline in brain function that occurs as a result of severe liver disease we have also discussed regarding its etiology pathophysiology clinical features diagnostic measures complications management nursing diagnosis and nursing care thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are looking for more informative videos from medical surgical nursing thank you